the sound test room. All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Colin with the soundtestroom.com here. I am back again to talk about Audio Mux and MIDI Mux. Uh, MIDI Mux just came out last week. Audio Mux, I believe, will be available this week, hopefully. Uh, they were nice enough to send me a test flight copy so that I could do this little review here. And, uh, and these apps are awesome. So what, what this allows us to do is send MIDI and audio directly from our iPad right into our computer using the, uh, the lightning cable or the 30 pin. So back in October, uh, Yosemite had the update that allowed that kind of allowed this with uh, like screen recording and things like that. You can now, you know, capture your your iPad screen right on your computer here. It also captures the audio. So this is kind of built on top of that, I believe, and um, really allows a lot of freedom. So there's no more MIDI hubs we need to worry about. No more audio interfaces. You can just go direct, and it's awesome. So first thing you want to do, go to minimux.com, download the servers. Um, this is the MIDI one here. The audio one is not available yet. Uh, that was included in the test flight thing that they sent me. So in any case, once you've set them up, you get these nice little icons on top here. Mid audio Mux is loaded. And this one is the MIDI Mux here. Not really any like settings that you can adjust or anything like that. They're just, uh, just kind of running in the background there. So we're going to be using live today. So let's start with the MIDI portion of this. And we'll get MIDI Mux going on here. So these are our our, our ports. Uh, our remote ports are the network session and the, the IAC driver here on the Mac. And on the local ports here, this is where um, we'll be getting our apps going on here. So let's just, uh, I haven't even thought this through. I was just using Magellan for this testing it out. So let's just use Magellan again. Very good, good MIDI qualities inside of uh, Magellan here. Not a lot of screwing around, which I like. So in any case, now that we have MIDI Mux open, let's pop back over there and we can see that now Magellan is showing up as a local port. So we can add more here. You can create your own, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, things like that. And uh, so now that we have Magellan going on here inside of Ableton, let's pop over to our preferences. And now we can, um, we go to our MIDI sync here. This is where we can pick Magellan has a, uh, an in and an output here and it'll also show up down here for us so now when we go to our MIDI uh, 2 this is where we can send to Magellan so let's just draw in a little clip here Whoop. oh and I don't have background audio on inside of Magellan there we go so simple as that let's get uh, I don't know. there for you but you can see how simple how simple it is already so we've got you know this MIDI clip here I've adjusted the MIDI 2 to be Magellan here and now it is receiving so when we pop back over there uh, it's just displayed here visually with this little blinking uh, in out kind of kind of guy there so really cool stuff here um, Let's try getting another app going on here. Let's uh, let's do Funkbox, another favorite. And now let's see if we can go to uh, our preferences here. Let's see if Funkbox is available to us. Sure enough. And I just turn all of these on. I don't know necessarily <laughs> what I'm doing sometimes. So when all else fails, I just turn everything on, and then when stuff doesn't work, I turn it off one by one, or you know, vice versa. So in any case, uh, we got Funkbox going on here. Let's see if we can get it to even, uh, you know, make some kicks for us. I think C1 is the kick here. So let's go to our MIDI routing, our MIDI input, we're going to do, uh, there we go. 
so there you go. So we had to go to our virtual input, uh, make sure that the note in was on. So yeah, so you can see we got two apps going on here right now, um, each receiving separate MIDI. Um, you know, really, really cool stuff. So we can already just use our Mac to, to drive this, get it going on. Uh, but the real fun begins when we start throwing in audio mucks here. And now we can capture this uh, right back inside of Ableton. So let's go to audio mucks. Now let's check this out here. So when we go to our input, these are all audio bus related. So our inputs are going to be Magellan and Funk Box, which we were just uh, just using. And I really need to clean off some of these apps that I am not using at all. Every time I go to open up my, my iPad lately, it's just choice overload. And there's definitely something to be said about minimalism. So in any case, we got uh, Magellan and Funk Box going on. Let's pop Audio Mux as our output. And now when we launch over there, we can see Funkbox and Magellan uh, running through the MacBook Pro. And now we have no output going on. But let's just hit play real quick. And you can see you get this nice little visual representation. So pretty cool there. So now what we can do is in our output here. I'm sorry, we've already we've already selected uh, audio box. I was going to show you the two lane thing that they kind of had going on in their own demo. But... First things first, let's check out, uh, you wanna go to live preferences, and then inside of the audio, this is where we choose our audio input device, which is just your um, your iPad or your iPhone. So we're gonna stick with the built-in output because I've got this, uh, my computer running directly into my, my audio hub recording all of this here. So uh, yeah, Siesta's uh, iPad there, and then now the audio from, Actually, this should be good here. Let's hit play. Yep, and you can see the little uh, gray moving there. Let's monitor it. Let's record. So there we go. So let's turn these guys off real quick. Oh, and turn off the monitor. And there's our audio. So really, really cool stuff there. Uh, you know, this is very, very easy. So now, you know, let's, let's do an entire project inside of Ableton if we want. And then, you know, we just want to get one synth sound from Magellan. We can go ahead and do that. Get it back and forth very, very easily, very cleanly. Uh, you know, just using the lightning cable, super easy stuff there. So the other thing that we can do is we can now pick, uh, we can leave audio mux has the output over there and start it has the input over here. And now let's go to, uh, let's do audio share, pop that open. And, um, let's see, let's go to our little recorder. Okay, I am missing a step here. What do I need to do? Do I need, I think I need to set the audio output device to that too. Yep, there we go. So you are hearing the iPad right now with the monitor on there. Yeah, so, uh, yep, in order to send it back to your device, make sure you go to your preferences and the audio output should be your device as well. So yeah, so, you know. You can do this all day, son. Send this back and forth over and over and over again. Really, really cool stuff here, you know. So like I said, there's no more messing around with audio interfaces, no more messing around with MIDI hubs if you don't want to. If you just got a computer and an iPad, an iPhone, you can do all of this directly and, um, and share the information, you know, very, very quickly, uh, real time here. There's some buffer settings inside of uh, um, Ableton here that you can do. But, you know, if you're not working with it in a live setting, you know, what's the difference? Just uh, just send your clips back and forth that way. 
But yeah, uh, if you have any questions or anything, hit us up at thesoundtestroom.com. These apps are really, really cool here. Um, audio mocks and MIDI mocks. Um, you know, like I said, this technology just came out in, in October or whatever. So hopefully we kind of see some more stuff that kind of takes advantage of this, uh, this data transfer between the, um, between the two devices just by your lightning cables. But uh, yeah, hit us up at thesoundtestroom.com. Hit us up on Patreon slash thesoundtestroom. And, uh, and as always, we will see you again real soon, everybody. All right, take care.